wrong fader. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> that intro was a little bit too long, but that's all right. Hey guys, how are you? Great, yeah, how are you been? Good, guys. Today we're joined with Sophia. The legend that I am here in the oh, flesh. Just ask her. And Liv. Slay. Slay. <laughs> hey, Liv. And Pastor James. Yo, what's up, what everybody? Awesome crew. <laughs> for, for, for the listeners, for the listeners, audio listeners of the podcast, James is actually not next to me today. He's actually <gasps> across from me. I have moved up into the co promoted. Sophia has yeah. been moved to the good headphones and the good microphone. It's quite an mm-hmm. honor. That's cool. cool. Good stuff. Awesome. Well, well so um, Ben, it's so good to see you. Hey, man. Mate. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so good I'm so because good. you're you here. You are so good. Man. I'm so good because I love Aww. that you've got so much heart for these kids listening Slay. to this podcast. Everyone out there, Benny runs this pod. He sets it up. He gets all the wires run. He turns it on. He edits all the videos. So shout out to you, Ben. Honoring you right now, mate, for all your efforts and for everyone listening. Let's just give a little uh, clap in the car wherever you are for Ben. Oh, there he is. What a man. Enough. Hey, hey, none of what I do would be possible without the will of the Lord. Oh, come on. Oh. Say, <laughs> Bringing say. it back to God. Thank, thank Bringing the, it back. Thank, thank the Lord. Come on. Well, before we get started, I think everyone's already heard our least valuable color of the rainbow, mm. but I want to know what's the best meal you've had this week? In the well, last few it's days, it's only Tuesday, oh. so there's been a limited amount of oh, time for the meals that I've had. Mm. Can we go true. from last Tuesday as in like the week we've had last You do Tuesday? you, boo. All Whatever right. you want. <laughs> I'm going to have to think about this. Okay. Well, Liv? I'm going to start us oh, off because I had a start. killer burrito bowl. Oh. Yep. It's That's either between fair. a burrito bowl or the soulful chicken spicy ch- chicken stir fry that I had after church on Sunday night. That so was also good. epic. Probably because I had a lemon lime bitters and I haven't yeah. been having sugar or soft drink and I treated myself after Sunday oh, night. Good boy. So and it was good. But that's me. I'm a sucker for some GYG. Love it. Well, you can't go wrong. What have you had this oh. week? My mom made me an awesome carbonara. Oh. I'm a nice. sucker for carbonara. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's the way. So good. Hit the spot. Yeah. That I love is that. So good. Is that like the bacon and creamy pasta? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. Ben, yes, sir. What, what meal have you had this week? Bro, I made pasta last night. Wow. And it was unreal. You know what so my secret good. ingredient is? Do tell. Pasta. Cream. 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 Thickened cream. Okay. Okay, sauce. question. Was it like a tomato yeah. pasta sauce? Oh, it was man. just yeah, yeah, cream yeah. It was like a bolognese. <laughs> like a bolognese you know what? Liv sauce. makes yeah. a really good creamy tomato pasta. She doesn't make it better than me. I'm just going to say, I don't think that's a secret because I think everybody <laughs> wants cream <laughs> in their <laughs> pasta. Oh, sorry, guys. So sorry to burst that bubble, so but mate, what can't you do? Oh, Savage, you got one for us? Um, best yeah. meal. We went out for dinner last Thursday and I had the best gnocchi of my oh, life. I love it how literally you said that melted so in my gnocchi. mouth. It was oh. so good. I love gnocchi. It's so, so good. But you got to have a good gnocchi. If it's, it's a true. bad gnocchi. Yeah, oh. it's just not There is such thing yeah. as a bad gnocchi. Definitely. Yeah. But you know what? There isn't such thing of bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to transition, so that's why I press buttons. And you know me. what? I'm taking over this segment because I've got a quick one for oh, you. Whoa. Everyone at home. You know, Ben takes the lead. He's got so many good segments, but I thought, hey, I'm taking the reins and I've got one for you. So everyone at home. Mm-hmm. I got a quick one for you. I want to know the answer to your thoughts around this question. This is if or rather, I'm not even making sense, but push notifications. I did a bulk delete of 8,000 emails two oh weeks ago. Goodness. And it was so Oof. freeing. Fast and loose. I tell you what. Get rid of those are mine. I need to, it was my, <laughs> I read all yours, Sophia. They're very important. But this was my personal email. You know that one you have to give when you buy yeah. stuff online and then yeah. you get spammed. Yeah, yeah. The, subs- yeah Actually, the subscriptions. Yeah. I have a hack. Come oh. on. I have two email addresses. Oh. One that I give to the stores and all the promotions go to, and one that's like my personal actual like cheeky life hack. Yeah. Free to make a See, Gmail. My account. one for stores is like the one that I had when I was eleven years old. Oh. So it's like really <laughs> cringe name. That's so funny. I want to know. No, you <laughs> <run out>. go <laughs> on. Though. It's when in doubt, Ben it out. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's I thought literally it was be like Ben is cool one hundred and one or something <laughs> no. like that. Please don't email me. I would Please love don't. if Liv made an email and it was like live, laugh, live. Live, love, wait, I it's got live, it wrong. Live, laugh, live. That was my old TikTok account. Please don't look it up. That's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> if you want some good cringeworthy content, go <laughs> check it out. out. But, but push notifications. All right. Are you a like yes on most of my apps or are you a no? Like Instagram, TikTok, uh, Be Real notifications. Have you got them still on? Because yes. I'm a no guy. I used to be a yes guy, really? but I want to just clear my head and I yeah. want them to be waiting on me to check them oh. I don't want them to be telling me that they need me to check them so what about be real though no. how are you going to know if not it goes even off? be real I've, I've got the be real push notification yeah, to tell me there's time to take a photo yeah. but yeah. people like not you Savage requests. I know you'd be the kind of person that's got hey this person um, reacted to your photo yeah, this person reacted yeah so I've got all them turned off the only Im- just the important ones but what about you Liv push notifications only like the essentials okay because if I see lots of notifications on my screen, I 
don't usually check them all. Okay, I got know? you. So, and then I miss the really important ones. Pull your phones out. Uh, yours and mine are on camera, but um, girls, give your unlock it and give a swipe down from the top. Now, what sort of notifications are in there is what I want to know. Oh, dear. Facebook, Ooh. TikTok. Oh, you've yeah. got Facebook Mine's notifications. Got Facebook notifications. Oh, my no. calendar, yes. Life 360, my wallet oh, app, my, God. my Bible <laughs> my app, my LinkedIn. App. You have a lot of notifications. Here's, here's my thing about Facebook notifications. I don't get any notifications from Facebook except it is this person's birthday today. Oh, yes. Okay. That has I, saved me so many times. Yeah, literally. Literally. Oh, literally. my gosh. It's I that, put my phone on like the do not disturb settings wow. a lot. Yeah. So I, if I'm home, it's on the personal setting, which means I only get certain notifications come sure. up, but I still allow them all to come up. I just don't see them because I'm on the do not disturb right. setting. I see. I do that see sense. that you have that on a lot. Yeah. It is um, very annoying because you would text yeah. me and then you'd be <laughs> Notify like, anyway. And then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver loudly. <She> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that, man. This is true. It's so good. So I think that's answered you. I think for us, we want to take the time to go through and edit and personalize what push notifications we yeah. get. But you know what? They're doing my head in. I was sick of seeing that 8,000 emails. So I just went, you know, if <laughs> anything's so important, fair. it'll boomerang, come back to me. But, uh, you know, it's just needing to make time for that that's most important. Definitely. Awesome. Great. I do want to quickly point out that we ditched our... Uh, our alarm sound idea because <laughs> James didn't like it very much. Not oh. at all. So, no. so, so, so I don't so even I like right waking up in the morning when I don't have to. So, <laughs> why so if you like our myself? rambling, stick around. Come on. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, we have a question today um, that is coming from the people. It so is uh, exactly what we do here. Reply all yep. is the title ben, of the podcast. Where the question come from? How, how can I write my questions in the podcast? Guys, there's an actual giant form. It's a massive form. <laughs> but Mega it's, awesome. But it's not like massive in... It's really easy to find is what it's I mean. Just a, yeah, it's really cool. easy to find. It's in the link in our Instagram bio. But also, Guess what? I have an update for you. So oh. Sophia and I are in the office today and we're working with our team to get the thing on the thing and, and it's, it's on the website. It's on the website. Woo! Yes. So Come you can on. head to nexuschurch.com.au. And then click the link to go and to you. you're gone. And there you go. What is it? nexuschurch.com.au forward slash... I don't know. Just Something. type in Nexus Church Reply and click the website button and you're good to yeah. go. So Do if it. you go into our youth page, you can see all of our socials, links to our Instagram, links to our YouTube, and now links to the podcast and oh, the yeah. form. So yeah. good. Or uh, the link in our bio on our Instagram. But we want to hear it. So this question today has come from the form. It did. Epic. It, did. it came from the form, but it also came through yesterday when I put up a yeah. thing on our Instagram page Instagram. saying, ask your questions. We're going to be recording a few yeah. pods. So we had a large amount. So shout out to everyone who did put their question in and for you that's sitting there wanting to put your question in, but mm-hmm. you didn't, do it. go and do it. All right. We even had one person ask, were there dinosaurs on the ark? Whoa, whoa. That's My vote? Deep. Yes. This is... That's <laughs> not the question, the question for today. Today's so question, that, question is guys. very simply this. How do you overcome sin? Oh. oh ho, ho, good big one. question. It is a good one. And unlike the first segment and the last segment to come, this one we did notify each of the people on the podcast for so we can write mm. a couple of notes so that we have a conversation for you on where we stand and what we think so that you can form your opinion and you can also be encouraged to overcome sin for yourself because we all face it. Yeah. But who's going to start us off? Liv, what do you think? All right, I'll start us off. Um, I think the first thing is being honest with yourself mm. and admitting to yourself that you have sinned. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you do something and you're like, oh, it's not that bad. Like it doesn't really matter that I did it and being honest with yourself and honest with God that you have Mm. sinned is like the first step to taking more steps to overcome. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think to understand the fact that when we do fail and fall into the temptation of sin, it's okay to know that God will give us a way to come back into right standing. He's got grace for us in those situations. Mm. Mm. Because when he died on the cross, he died for our sins. Mm but they're the sins that we have committed, but the sins that we're also going to commit because we are people that have been born into sin and we need a savior. And he is that for us Mm -hmm. every single day. But we need to be honest with ourselves. I love that. That's awesome. And on that, like he's given us like the ability to choose Mm -hmm. and 
sometimes we choose to do the wrong thing, but we can also choose to do the right thing after you've done the wrong thing. Hundred yes. percent. You know, like you can choose to learn from it and choose to be better and you grow from that sin. Hundred percent. You can choose to let it get you down and mm. put you into a spiral of negativity, yeah. or you can choose to let that time where you've maybe given into temptation to sin as a platform to build from to say, okay. I've stuffed up. Yeah. I thank you, God, for your forgiveness. And I'm mm-hmm. moving forward yeah. now. Great. Mm-hmm. Savage. Um, I think humbling yourself before God and wow. like just coming with that posture of humility is a step you can also take in overcoming sin. And then acknowledging the fact that it's not your will but God's will that will be done in right. your life. Great. It's we know like we were born into a world of sin and overcoming it means that we have to make hard decisions in our life and it means sometimes going against the crowd it means doing something Mm. different it means you might be the only one doing something like that Mm -hmm. but acknowledging that it's not what i want in my life it's not what i think i want to do just to fit in but i'm going to actually put god first and i'm going to do his will right and even though i've made that mistake i've learned from it i've come before god i've asked for forgiveness i'm going to move forward in his will and his Mm. path for me Good word. Is I know. This Sunday? I, I think she should. <laughs> She's an absolute born yeah. preacher and there's so much call on your life, Sophia. That is so good. You two live incredible. And I think what I want to add to that, Savage, is the fact that God knows how much or how little we can handle. Yes. Mm. So he won't yeah. bring He'll a never temptation give you too much of sin. More. And you can handle that's right yeah. across your path that you cannot overcome. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, he's almighty, all powerful, and he knows yeah. what he's doing, yes. and you can do it. I think. As well, we've got to remember that no sin is greater than another sin. And so you can do like a tiny little lie. Tell mom you didn't steal the cookie from the cookie jar. Or you you could do something completely on the other side, um, a much bigger like effect. Yeah. And, you know, it's obviously going to have different effects here on earth but in yeah. god's eyes when he looks down he's like a sin a sin i saw i heard a great analogy once i'm gonna try and remember it and say it right but if you have a white sheet in your bed and mm. it's dirty your mum's gonna be like go wash it now it doesn't matter how big that dirt patch is or how little if it's just a tiny spot mm. your mum's still gonna be like go wash it yeah. and so you need to go take it to god every time and ask you know to be clean to be like wash and even if it comes back and yeah. it's still like a little patch of dirt your mum's gonna be like Go wash it again. Good yeah. And so you're just going to keep on. doesn't matter if it's like all over, you spilt like mm. cordial all over the bed sheets or if mm. you've got like still a tiny little clean. dot yeah. of like Mud. dirt. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's going to still need to go be cleaned. Mm. Yeah. I want to I wanna read the word. It says oh. Ephesians 4, 22 to 23, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. And I think that this is a... This is a, a like a mental thing, kind of like looking at um, where you've come from and what you've done and just going, you know what, like this mm-hmm. sucks and admitting that mistake and confrontation with mm. people that you know and people yeah. that sure. you love and telling those people about um, about how you are struggling with this thing yeah. and, sure. and, and bringing that to light because like Liv said, kind of hiding it and putting it in a box and trying to hide it from people is like not really doing you any favors, mm. not doing anyone else yeah. any favors if it's taking an emotional right. toll or, yeah. um, and it's not doing yourself any favors for God because God knows you like yep. everything. Yes. So, yeah. And the Bible says when you bring it out of darkness and into the light, Great. that the darkness cannot overcome it. Yes. Correct. The light is so strong in our life and yeah. that's Jesus. And like we've been emphasizing the last few weeks is that we are a church and we are a youth ministry that mm. want to be so ingrained in God and spending yeah. time with him that that overflows. 100%. So I think that if we're spending time with God and in his presence and that yes. we can be transformed, throwing off our old sinful nature and stepping mm. into the call of God that's on our life because there is one on every single one of us. Yeah. It just looks yeah, different. Good. Yeah. And I love that. The word also says, and where I want to go is that God will always give you a way out. Great. Yes. We find ourselves, and I know there's kids yes. at home, there's people listening to this podcast right now who have a um, thing that keeps coming up in their life. Mm. But the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, in the message version, no test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. Yeah. All you need to do is remember that God will never let you down. He'll never let you be pushed past your limit and he'll always be there to help you come through it. 100%. He will. Another translation says that he will always give you a way out. Yes. So when you're in those moments, call upon the Lord. Yeah. And open your eyes to see the way out. But yeah. you've got to be bold. You've got to be brave. You've got to um, be real with God. Mm. And then look for the open door and mm. take it. 
because he's with That's you. why he's given us the Holy Spirit Amen. in right. us because he knows that by ourselves we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do it. So he's given us Huge. like the Holy Spirit in us going through every single day with us, you know. And sometimes you get that gut feeling and you know, oh, this isn't the right thing to do. And mm-hmm. that's, that's God being like, yeah. you know what? Like I'm actually, I'm watching over you. Like I have a plan for you and I know I'm going to give you the choice to make this decision or not, mm. but you know, I'm, I'm guiding you and I've got yep. your path and I've got the Holy Spirit in you to help you overcome these situations yep. and navigate like these circumstances in life. Someone out there needs to be reminded that you can put worship music on, Come on. in those moments of mm. mental pressure when sin is around to fill yourself with the spirit of God through praise and worship, yes. enter his gates with thanksgiving and praise and watch the world slip away yeah. as you step in mm. and push away from the sinful mm-hmm. nature of the world. That's great. So good. Man, I hope and I know that this is helping someone and I'm so glad we're replying to all the questions yeah. of the awesome. people. We're not taking long because we don't want to bore you, but <laughs> it's real. We're real. And this is just a conversation. So thank great you, team. This is amazing. Thank you, Ben. Where are we going? We're going Shit. there. I was ready for it to keep <laughs> on going. I was like dancing. Should I? I could. I could. You know what else yeah. I can do? You can turn your fader up when you press the button. I don't want to talk about it. I love that. Guys, it's been a long time. Come guys, on. Guys, how are you? Hey. I'm great. How are you, Ben? Excellent. Guys. I'm better than when I started on the podcast. Yeah. That's so I good. Feel yeah. I, I'm, I'm I feel, fired up. So I feel filled up. Soul. I'm ready to pour out. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> so good. This question is three words long. Oh. Three. oh, no. One, two, three. Here we go. You ready? Pepsi or... Coca-Cola. Okay, oh. stop. Because we went out to dinner on Sunday night. <laughs> Not even a question. And my dreams were crushed. I'm a Coke girl through and yeah. through. I love Coca-Cola. Coke over here as well. I am a big Coke stan. Mm-hmm. Pepsi, who are you? What is this? It's kind but of like an off-brand Coke. Oh. Yes, it's, it's like the Walmart version. <laughs> That's a good call, Lou. But I found out Josh, one of our youth kids, mm-hmm. yes. came and told me that a doctor said Pepsi is healthier than Coke. No and way. And people shouldn't drink coke Strange. and i'm sitting there about to order my coke and i felt like oh I you was got like, the guilt i was like i can't do this the lord gave you a and way out every person at the table ordered a pepsi i was like this is oh. so rude what an influencer josh so <laughs> what a good lad so mate i hope he's listening to this podcast josh, i'm gonna pretend i'm a doctor i gotta tell him my heart. <laughs> you're yeah. in my brain now come on <laughs> so here's why i don't agree with any of you oh, oh you are so are you different. the or option no. <laughs> <laughs> i'm or i'm or no, um, because Pepsi in in its total, more than just the drink, the brand, oh. has Mountain Dew. Oh, okay. All right. You're a... Oh, so it's the extension Mountain of Dew Pepsi. is better. Nah. Sunkissed is better than Can Fanta. Can I just say for no. all the Christmas oh, lovers, that is Coca-Cola true. was the first brand to use Christmas in their marketing. So for all the Christmas stands, Coke Room is your that go-to. They were probably also trivia. the first it brand like trivia. ever. Ben, because much. I'm too big to fit into the box and I like standing on the outside looking in, I'm, I'm going to agree with some of the ways that you've approached this question. Mountain Dew and Sunkist are awesome. I have Sunkist a couple. is the Walmart version of Fanta, and Mountain Dew Walmart. is just for those. I don't even know what that is. Mount- who Mount- drink. I have a couple. I have a couple <laughs> that are on. very similar to this. A couple other questions. Okay. No. Still water. Before we get there. Oh. Before we get there. Oh. oh. What about when you oh. go and order a Coke and they bring oh. you a Pepsi without telling you? <gasps> so bad. That is the, that worst. Is the worst. Oh. I like take it back. I'm like, give me something else. It is I not the same this. thing. That is offensive. That's a, that should be a sin, right? Wow. Wow. It's not the other ones, Ben. What are the other ones? I've got further. Come on. We've got. Still water versus still, sparkling water? Still. Sparkling. Still. still. You're outside the box, mate. You can so drink outside. it faster. If you're thirsty, away. still water, you can just drink I it. I challenge you to that. Sparkling so, so water gives you like no still bubbles. Yeah. So if you run, hang on, hang on. It gives you no yeah. bubbles and eyes water. <laughs> if you run a kilometre yeah. after. The last thing I want to yeah. Still water okay. and sparkling water. Context, what do you grab? Context. What do you grab? Yeah. Still. Ah, Exactly. Yeah, but if you're out for dinner, for lunch, and you're getting a nice, beautiful salad, Pomegranate ask. chicken salad. Table water. Why no are you way. Ordering <laughs> pomegranate chicken salad. It's amazing. It's amazing. Super fuel salad. All right. Hit us with the next one, Ben. Guys, peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth? Stop it. James and I having this conversation this morning. Crunchy. Smooth. Really? Crunchy. Yeah. crunchy. The bread has already got a crunch to it. Ben. I'm a crunch guy. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sophia. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Hit us with Last another one. Last one, guys. Oh, final one. This is close to this my heart. This is it. or Crocs. Oh. I'll say Crocs. Burks. Context, Come please. On. Context. <laughs> Context. I like them both. 
a lot. They do. They do. They serve different yeah, tasks. That's, that's right. True. That is Am true. Am I going out true. to a formal lunch at the boat club with my extended family? <laughs> Definitely Burks. Burks. But fair. Everything what? else? Everything. Or just not <laughs> <laughs> Would you wear either to a fancy fact, lunch? Yeah. yeah I would, at the boat club, I would. If oh, I've come okay. off the beach, fact, I would. Two of the With four linen, people in this podcast are wearing shorts. Crocs today, so I think the answer is clear. The answer is clear. For those on YouTube the watching us clear. at home, these are my Crocs, are crocs. and um, they're Ben's Crocs, very, and very useful, he's very just very blocked crocs off my view. My didn't work because my outfit today. Oh, man. We've all got excuses for everything. with every outfit? It's because yours are bright pink. Just depends on. So they go with some outfits. change your wardrobe. Easy. Oh, no worries. My wardrobe is bright pink, so I'm just oh, trying to wow. get Christmas. Dude, that's so good. Hey, what a pod! That's so Thanks good. For episode, us. what are we up? Episode seven. Episode Nine. This is eight. Episode eight. eight. Oh my god! Yeah. Guys, we episode eight. Guess. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Liv, Sophia, and James. Oh Appreciate come you. on! Thank you, ben. Thank you, Benjamin. You guys Thank you. Are Thank you. Awesome. We'll definitely Benjamin get you guys back. Eugene Webster. What a man. Eugene. Eugene. I wish my middle name was Eugene. Is okay. Hey, and for everyone listening at home, if you haven't yet liked, subscribed, left a comment on any platform that you're Do listening it. to this, it I really helps you. the podcast. Share it with your mates. It helps more people. And I want to say what another podcast I listen to do they say if you share it with one friend that would go a long way so mm. why don't you share this with someone flick them a text if you share it with someone do it and then let us know Tag we us. might give you free merch do it <gasps> or oh, we will we definitely we got will. merch to get rid of we got yeah. so many let's go three xls man <laughs> if you're gonna be loving by faith I just want to shout out Michaela, our MVP, our one and only at the Ooh, moment. Okay. Michaela. Michaela. I hope you're doing well, Michaela. But for everyone, until next time, Guys, it's oh, goodbye from us. Wait, I'm, I'm not done. Oh. Oh. you got to watch our other episodes. Do it. Oh, the other ones. Say, one through seven. seven. Seven episodes up to now. They Come are pretty all banana bangers. Splitty. All of them are bangers. But other than that, James, it's time. Tell them what to do. <laughs> say good day to mum for me. Bye, everyone. Peace out. See ya. Slay. Slay. <laughs> <laughs>